The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. And this was about a few months before. Annette Black hasn't slept well since the September day Rick Scott signed the death warrant for her daughter and granddaughter's killer. I've been ill for days now. This is not anything anybody wants to have to go through. So no joy today for you? No joy, no joy. 22 years ago, Cassandra Banks was sleeping in her North Florida home when her husband shot her point blank. Chadwick Banks then raped his 10-year-old stepdaughter before also shooting her in the head. And you never thought you'd see this day? No, no, I thought I would be dead by now. My husband is 89. We thought we'd both be dead by now. Jeb Bush holds the record for executions by a modern governor with 21. This will be Rick Scott's 20th. He has four more years. Uh, I take it very seriously. Um, the, uh, but what I think about, and as I do it, I think about the victims. Annette calls the execution justice. We spoke with her minutes before she left for the prison to witness her daughter's killer die. Well, I'm hoping that tonight I might get a chance to cry because since this has happened, I haven't been able to cry. It's like something has killed my emotions. Maybe I get a good night's sleep. I don't know what will happen tonight after all of this is over. And with four more years as governor, it is almost certain that Rick Scott will be signing more Blackwater death warrants. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda.